Can you believe that Fetcher had more than tripled the guard? There must have been eight of them in there. It was like he was daring us to come and get him. Well, there's an old sewer tunnel that dumps into the lake on the northwest side of the island. That's how I slipped in there. Should still be unguarded. Walking away without taking a job? It's like passing a bloated coin purse on a table. I have work if you've got the backbone. So you're the new recruit, huh? Well, looks like you and I are gonna have to get very well acquainted. I'm the fence down here. You come by anything you don't exactly own, and I'll pay you some coin for it. Minus a little slice for the guild, of course. I can also provide a few supplies useful to our trade now and again. For a small fee. Sure. How about I get Dirge to knock you over your head and dump you into the cistern? Look, I've been in this business a long time, and I've seen all types. You can play it tough, or you can play it smart. Whatever. At the end of the day, you'll find that all we care about down here is how much gold you can make us. Good. Then there isn't much more to say. Here's your armor. Just make sure you put it to good use. Now, if you'll excuse me. Even if you're one of us, you better not make trouble. Ah, oh, you made it. Good to see you, my... Good to see you again, friend. Wait. I know you. Looking to stay alive? Why take a chance?
Never should have come
Got a minute? Wanted to say something. Word on the street is Golden Glow's been hit. Good job, lad. Let me take a look at what you found. Arangar sold Golden Glow? What's that idiot thinking? He has no idea the extent of Maven's fury when she's been cut out of a deal. But I'm certain he'll find out. If only the parchment had the buyer's name instead of this odd symbol. Any idea what that might be? Blast. Well, I'll check my sources and speak to Mercer. But for now, you're off to speak to Maven Blackbriar. She asked for you by name. Don't sound so eager. It's not a social visit. It's business. That's between you and Maven, and I prefer to keep it that way. Don't worry about it. Maven's business dealings usually involve quite a bit of gold for her people. <laughs> of course, your pay. <laughs> You're smart as a whiplot. Keep doing right by us, and there's plenty more where that came from. Next we meet Lyle. Want to say something to you. I know you. People of Riften, heed my words. The return of the dragons is not mere coincidence. This is one of the signs. The signs that Lady Mara is displeased with your constant inebriation. Put down your flagons filled with your vile liquids and embrace the teachings of the Handmaiden of Kine. No, no, Mara. We talked about this. Talon? Kirava, certainly we can come to some sort of an understanding. These people must be made aware of the chaos they've sown. Enough, Mara Ma. We've all heard of the dragons and their return. There's no need to use them as an excuse to harass our customers. Very well, Talon. I'll remove myself from this den of iniquity. We're not kicking you out. Just keep the servants I don't have any at the temple with you, and let us so all get out sin of my in face. peace. So you're the one. Hmm. You don't look so impressive. Is that confidence I hear? Or is it arrogance? Strange how often they're confused. You have to understand. It's been a long time since Brynjolf sent me anyone I can rely on. Faith. I don't have faith in anyone. All I care about is cause and effect. Did the job get done, and was it done correctly? There's no gray area. I hope not. This is an important job. I have a competitor called Hunning Brumidary that I want to put out of business. I also want to know how they managed to get the place up and running so quickly. Head to the Bannered Mare in Whiterun and look for Malus Machius. He'll fill you in on all the details. One more time, in case I wasn't clear. You butcher this job, and you will be sorry.
need something? Well met, Kins. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat. Is there something I can do for you? Can't a man drink? I'm gonna keep this short, because we've got a lot to do. Haunting Brew's owner, Sabjorn, is about to hold a tasting for White Run's Captain of the Guard. And we're going to poison the mead. No, no, that's the beauty of the whole plan. We're going to get Sabjorn to give it to us. The meadery has quite a pest problem, and the whole city knows about it. Pest poison and mead don't mix well, you know what I mean? You're going to happen by and lend poor old Sabjorn a helping hand. He's going to give you the poison to use on the pests, but you're also going to dump it into the brewing vat. Maven and I spent weeks planning this. All we need is someone like you to get in there and get it done. Now get going before Sabjorn grows a brain and hires someone else to do the dirty work. Remember, Sabjorn will be needing a helping hand. Make it look good. What are you gawking at? Are you kidding me? Look at this place. I'm supposed to be holding a tasting of the new hunting brew reserve for the captain of the guard. If he sees the meadery in this state, I'll be ruined. Oh, really? And I don't suppose you just... I hope you're not expecting to get paid until the job's done. Okay, okay. No need to make rash decision. Here's half. You get the rest. My only demand is that these vermin are permanently eliminated be- I bought some poison. I was going to have my lazy good-for-nothing assistant, Malice. If you plant this in the vermin's nest, it should stop them from ever coming back. Don't come back until every one of those things are dead. Now I've got to clean up this mess. <laughs> 